At Earth's northernmost point, there's a remarkable place where the sun stays up for six months straight, then disappears for another six months. This is what we call the polar day and polar night. In Norway's Svalbard archipelago, one of the world's northernmost inhabited areas, locals experience something extraordinary each year. When spring arrives, the sun rises and refuses to set for four whole months. When winter comes, it vanishes completely, leaving the land in extended darkness. What's the story behind this fascinating phenomenon? Earth's tilted head, where it all began. This interesting phenomenon started with a cosmic car crash. About four and a half billion years ago, an object about the size of Mars slammed into young Earth. This violent collision was like a massive punch that not only knocked a chunk of Earth into space, which later formed our moon, but also permanently tilted Earth's head. Scientists have measured this tilt at 23 and a half degrees. Like someone forever tilting their head, Earth circles the sun with this permanent tilt. Interestingly, Earth's head always points in the same direction, as if it's locked in place. This happens because Earth spins rapidly, like a fast-spinning top that maintains its tilted position once it's knocked off balance. The moon's gravity acts like an invisible hand, helping Earth maintain this tilt angle. Without this tilted head, we wouldn't have seasons, nor would we experience the magical phenomenon of polar days and nights. If Earth tilted more severely, polar days and nights would last longer, and Earth's weather patterns would be more extreme. This 23 and a half degree tilt seems to be just right, like Earth found its most comfortable position. Why six months? The sun's hide and seek game. To understand why the poles experience six months of day and night, try this simple experiment. Take an orange, stick a toothpick through it to represent Earth's north and south poles, then move this tilted orange around a lamp, representing the sun. You'll notice that the top of the toothpick is sometimes constantly lit by the lamp, and sometimes completely in shadow. This is exactly what happens in real life. As Earth orbits the sun, its tilted head means the North Pole points toward the sun for half the year and away from it for the other half. It's like an enormous game of hide and seek between the sun and the poles. For six months, the sun can see the North Pole, creating polar day. And for the next six months, it can't see it, creating polar night. The polar night isn't really dark, the sun's clever trick. Many people might think the polar night means complete darkness, but that's not the case. Even during the polar night, the sky isn't pitch black. It's as if the sun is playing peekaboo with us. While it stays below the horizon, it still manages to send some of its light our way. This phenomenon is similar to what we see during dawn and dusk. Although the sun isn't directly visible, its light bounces off the atmosphere, keeping the sky lit. Depending on how deep the sun is hiding, the sky shows different levels of brightness. When the sun is just barely hiding below the horizon, scientists say within six degrees, the sky remains bright enough to read a book outdoors. Scientists call this civil twilight, but it's really just what we normally call dawn's early light. When the sun hides a bit deeper, between six and 12 degrees below the horizon, it gets darker, but you can still see the horizon clearly. Ancient sailors loved this kind of light because they could see both the horizon and the stars, making it easier to navigate. That's why it's called nautical twilight. When the sun hides even deeper, between 12 and 18 degrees, the sky becomes quite dark but still has a faint glow. The sky turns a deep blue and stars fill the heavens. Astronomers love this astronomical twilight because it's perfect for stargazing. Different places, different experiences. The length of polar days and nights varies depending on your location on Earth. Just like sitting in different seats at a movie theater gives you different views, your position on Earth determines how you experience the polar day and night. At the North Pole, the sun rises on March 20th and stays up for exactly half a year, then disappears for the other half. This is the complete polar day and night experience. In Svalbard, Norway, being a bit further from the North Pole means slightly shorter periods. Polar day lasts from April 19th to August 23rd, and polar night from October 26th to February 15th. Further south in Tromsø, Norway, the experience is even shorter, just two months of midnight sun in summer and two months of polar night in winter. It's like getting a condensed version of the polar experience. Living with polar days and nights, human ingenuity. People living in these regions have developed clever ways to handle these unusual light patterns. During the summer's eternal daylight, 
they install special blackout curtains that can turn rooms as dark as a movie theater. Some people wear special eye masks, like tiny blankets for their eyes. During the long polar night, they use special daylight lamps to trick their bodies. These lamps mimic sunlight, helping people maintain normal daily rhythms. They also take extra vitamin D supplements, since people usually get this vitamin from sunlight exposure. Nature's Adaptive Wisdom Animals and plants have their own coping strategies. Arctic plants are particularly clever, making the most of the summer sunlight by growing and flowering at an incredible pace, as if they're racing to complete a year's worth of growth in just three months. Animals have different approaches. Polar bears enter an energy-saving mode during the polar night, reducing their activity. Reindeer eyes change color between summer and winter to better adapt to different light conditions. Many birds simply choose to skip winter by flying south before the polar night begins. Culture and festivals, celebrating light and dark. These unique natural phenomena have inspired special cultural traditions. In Tromso, people celebrate the sun festival when the sun first returns, like welcoming back an old friend who's been away for months. During the polar night, communities organize indoor activities and festivals, including Northern Lights viewing parties. Modern challenges. With climate change, life in polar regions is changing. Ice and snow are melting faster, challenging traditional ways of life. But humans have always been adaptable, and polar communities continue to find new ways to cope with these changes. Conclusion, Earth's unique charm. This tilted head of Earth caused by an ancient cosmic collision has given us one of nature's most extraordinary phenomena. From the never-setting midnight sun to the mysterious northern lights, from unique survival strategies to rich cultural traditions, polar days and nights showcase not only nature's wonders, but also life's resilience. This is our Earth, a home full of endless surprises.